Welcome to this advanced vinyasa flow with minimal cues. This class is perfect for anyone who is familiar with the practice and would like to do more of the challenging postures without so much verbal guidance. When you're ready, we'll begin in child's pose. Guide yourself into position. And we'll pause a few moments here to check in, set the tone for the practice. Thread the left arm under the right. Reach the right arm to the sky and roll out the wrist. Come back through center. Thread right arm under left, left arm reaches up to roll out the wrist. Come back through center. Walk both hands to the right side of the mat, planting left hand on top of right. Walk the hands over to the left side, right hand stacks the left. Bring hands through center, come up to tabletop. Bring the right hand to right side temple. Start to draw circles with the right elbow. Reach the right arm up, inhale. Exhale, plant the hand. Bring left hand to the temple, drawing circles with the left elbow. Inhale, extend the arm up. Exhale, release the hand. Dynamic cat cow. Inhale, sending hips to heels. Exhale, rippling forwards.
option to make it more elaborate, coming all the way forwards into a cobra, all the way back into child's pose. The next time you come to Cobra, hold it there. Come on to Tented Fingers. Lower the chest. Bring hands on the shoulders, legs together. Start to roll over to the left side body and then over to the right. Inhale in one direction, exhale to the other. The next time you roll left, place the right hand behind you. Inhale to lift up into either a side plank or wild thing. Exhale, lower the hips, roll to the right side, left foot behind. Inhale to come up to side plank or wild thing. Exhale, sink the hips, roll onto your belly, and press up to downward facing dog. Inhale to lift the left leg, opening the hip. Exhale to sweep the foot forwards. Arms up for high lunge. Bring the left arm under the back, right arm overhead to clasp hands. Start to bend the back knee, arching, opening the chest. Extend both legs, start to fold forwards. Option to keep the arms as they are, bring hands to the mat. Inhale to lift up once more, rebending the knee, high lunge. Slowly lower the back knee down to the mat, sinking the hips for low lunge. Plant the hands, step to plank, and move through your vinyasa. Inhale, lift the right leg. Exhale, sweep the foot forwards, come up to high lunge. Right arm comes under and up the back. Left arm to reach overhead. Open the chest, arch the back. Extend both legs, fold forwards. Option to keep the hands as they are, bring hands to the mat. Rebend the front knee, come back to high lunge. Start to bend the back knee, lower it to the mat for low lunge. Plant the hands, step to plank, move through your vinyasa.
Inhale to lift the left leg. Exhale, cross left leg over the top of the right. Spin open to side plank on the left. Plant the right hand, spin open to side plank on the right. Lifting the left leg. Exhale, to step the left foot forwards. Coming into your extended side angle, revolved side angle. Turn to the left, sink right side hip for twisted lizard. Spinning around to the right, coming into Skandasana. Interlace the fingers, flip your palms to face forwards. Option to keep the arms ahead of you or lift them up. Frame the front foot, step back to plank and move through your vinyasa. Lift the right leg, cross right leg over left and come to side plank on your right. Plant the left hand, spin to side plank on the left, lifting the right leg up. Step right foot forwards, landing in a twisted lunge. Exhale to sink the left hip, turning to the right for twisted lizard. Spinning to the left, coming into Skandasana. Interlace the fingers, flip your hands, either extending the arms in front of you or lifting them up. Frame the front foot with the hand, step to plank and move through your vinyasa. Lift the left leg high, open the hip. And as slow as you can, sweep the leg to the left and plant the foot behind the left hand. Keeping both legs straight, turn out the back foot, coming into triangle. Option to keep both arms extended or option to bind, wrapping left arm under the leg, right arm behind the back. Start to bend the front knee. Find a bind if you're not there already. Look down for balance. Step the back foot forwards. Slowly lift the front foot to come to Bird of Paradise. Lower the front foot, extend right leg back. And turn the back foot to face forwards, coming into bound lizard. Plant the hands, getting ready for the arm balance. Resting left leg on top of left arm. Extend the leg to move into flying splits.
Step back to plank and move through your vinyasa. Lift the right leg high and as slow as you can, sweep the leg out to the side. Plant the foot behind the right hand. Open out your back foot to come into triangle. Option to keep both arms extended or you could bind wrapping right arm under the leg, left arm behind the back. Bend the front knee, take a bind if you're not there yet. Step the back foot forwards, come up into Bird of Paradise. Lower the right foot, step the left leg back, turning the toes to face the front of the mat, coming to bound lizard. Plant the hands to prepare for the arm balance. Extend the right leg to come to flying splits. Step back to plank and move through your vinyasa. Exhale, downward dog. Slowing it down, taking five breaths here. Lift the left leg high and sweep the leg forwards, planting the foot behind the left hand. Left hand holds onto the heel, sweep the back leg up for standing splits. Bring the left hand to the mat, right arm reaches up to catch the foot in sugar cane. Release the foot, lower the right hand, sweep the right leg behind you as you bend the left knee. Left hand catches the foot. Slowly lower down for baby grasshopper. You can sit down. Extend both legs in front of you. Arms up, inhale. Exhale to fold. Lift your chest, cross your ankles, jump back to plank, and move through your vinyasa. Lifting the right leg, sweep the leg forwards, right hand catches the ankle, lift the left leg for standing splits.
Bring the right hand to the mat, left hand catches the foot for sugar cane. Release the foot, extend the leg. Left hand comes to the mat, left leg sweeps behind you. Catch the foot, sink down for baby grasshopper. Sit the hips down, extend both legs in front. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale to reach for the big toes and fold. Inhale, lift the chest, cross the ankles. Jump back to plank or chaturanga. And move through your vinyasa. Inhale to lift the left leg high. Exhale to cross left leg over right. Spin to side plank on your left. With your exhale, bend the right leg, tap elbow to knee. Inhale as you open, plant the right hand, spin to side plank on your right. Step the left foot forwards, coming into Skandasana. Finding any variation that works for you. And sitting the hips down, right hand will catch left ankle, left arm will reach up as you bend to the right. Slowly release, lifting up. Place the right hand behind you. Left arm will sweep in front as you pick up the hips, lifting up for a variation of wild thing. Exhale to sit the hips back down. Turn to face the front of your mat, come to lizard. Keeping the back knee lifted as you rock forwards and back. Left hand will catch the big toe, open into extended side plank on the right. Sweep your left leg forwards to come into splits, taking any variation of splits that you like. Inhale to lift the chest, push the floor away, lift the hips. Sweep your front leg back up to three-legged down dog. Keeping the leg lifted, ripple forwards, high plank. And move through your vinyasa. Meeting me back in downward dog. Lifting the right leg high. Crossing right leg over left. Spin to side plank on the right. Inhale. Exhale, tap elbow to knee. Inhale, spin to side plank on the left. Exhale, right foot steps forwards, moving into Skandasana straight away. 
any variation that you like. And sitting the hips down, left hand will catch right angle, right arm will reach overhead as you bend to the left. Inhale to lift back up. Place the left hand behind you. Right arm will sweep in front as you pick up the hips for a variation of wild thing. Exhale to sit the hips back down. Turn to face forwards. Coming into lizard with the back knee lifted. Rocking forwards and back a few times. Right hand holds the big toe as you move into extended side plank on the left. Sweep the right foot forwards to come into splits. Any variation that you'd like to explore. Inhale to lift up, push the floor away, pick up the hips, sweep your front leg back up to three leg down dog, keeping the leg raised, shift into high plank and move through your vinyasa. Taking five steady breaths in downward dog. Looking to the top of your mat. With an inhale, jump the feet forwards. Coming into forward fold. Exhale here. Lift your chest halfway, bring the fingertips to the mat, bend the knees if you need to. Step the right foot back to come into pyramid. Folding over the front leg, relaxing chin to chest. Lift your chest, gaze in between your hands, then either practicing kicking up into handstand or kicking all the way up. As you come up, hold a few breaths. And then switch the legs so that you land with the right foot forwards and the left leg back coming into pyramid. Inhale to lift the chest, look forwards, either practicing kicking up into handstand or coming all the way up. Hold a few breaths. This time land with the feet as wide as the mat to come into Malasana.
Bring the hands to the mat straight and the legs fold forwards. Inhale to lift the chest, plant the left hand in front of you, reach the right arm up to twist. And staying in the twist, start to bend your knees, spin on the balls of the feet, crossing right leg over left. Bring the left arm up the back, right arm overhead to clasp the hands. Softening the eyes closed as we pause here. Release the arms, roll out the shoulders if you need to. And stacking the legs for double pigeon. A few options here, you could fold forwards, you could turn to the side to twist. Lift the chest, extend the left leg, bring right foot to the left hip crease for half lotus. If this doesn't agree with your knee, then bring the foot to the inner thigh. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold forwards. Release the fold, cross the left leg again, plant both feet, spin to the left to come back to your twisted fold, plant the right hand, reach the left arm up to twist to the left. Bend the knees, spin on the balls of the feet, landing left leg on top of right, this time, right arm comes up the back, left arm reaches over to clasp the hands, closing the eyes, pausing here. Release the hands, roll out the shoulders if you need to, and stack the legs for double pigeon. You can either fold or twist to the side. Release the twist, 
extend the right leg and you're either bringing left foot to the hip crease for a half lotus or bring the foot to the inner thigh. Inhale to lengthen, reaching arms up. Exhale to fold. Inhale, lift the chest. Extend both legs in front of you. Then bending the knees, placing the hands behind you, knock your knees side to side. Keep your knees bent, place the left hand behind you. With an inhale, sweep the right arm in front as you lift the hips. Either coming up to reverse tabletop or maybe flipping round into wheel. If you're taking wheel, find any variation for five steady breaths. If you're in wheel, slowly make your way back round, sit the hips. Plant the right hand behind you this time. Left arm sweeps in front, inhale to pick up the hips. Either taking reverse table or flipping around into wheel. Maybe this time taking a slightly different variation of wheel. If you're in wheel, slowly flip back around, sit the hips down, and again, knock the knees side to side. Bring the feet together, create a diamond with the legs. Then let your spine round forwards. Relaxing chin to chest. Roll your spine back up. You can keep the legs as they are, but come and lie down on your back. Just resting the hands on your belly, continuing to slow the breath. Bring the knees together, hug them into your chest. Option to stay here, option to take happy baby.
Cross the left leg over the right, keeping the knees bent. Curl up and catch the ankles. And then roll back down, resting the head on the mat. Release the hold of the feet. Keep the legs as they are. Let the legs fall to the right side of your body to come into a twist. Lift the legs and crossing right leg over left, curl up, catch the ankles and then roll back down. Resting the head on the mat, hugging the legs in close. Release the hold of the ankles. Let the legs fall to the left to come into a twist. Release the twist, extend both legs to find Shavasana.
deepen your breath. Hug your knees into your chest. And roll onto your side. Taking a few breaths here. No need to hurry. Join me back in a seated position. And resting hands on knees, inhale, lengthen from the crown of your head. Exhale, soften the belly, relax the shoulders, and flicker the eyes open. That completes the end of our practice. I hope that you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time.